Going to college is a major life decision. A bachelor's degree has become the stepping stone to a good job and financial stability. So, Tony, what are the benefits of a college degree? Ultimately, the benefit of a college degree is that it allows you to live more fully in your time. At the same time, however, you've got to get a job and you can't live fully in your time if you're living under a bridge or in your parents' basement. Uh, and college degrees will, in general, get you a good job. On average, people who get four-year college degrees make a million dollars more over their careers than people who get high school degrees. But there's another consideration, and that is that there's a big difference in earnings among majors. So if you're in a science major, uh, an engineering major, a business major, um, compared with a psychology major, an arts major, uh, someone who majors in history, uh, you can make as much as $3 million more over a lifetime. Uh, so you have to choose carefully. So that means that if I'm a history major, am I always going to earn less than a business major? Not always, because in the end you go to college for four or five years, uh, and then you spend 45 years in your career out in the real world and a lot of what happens to you depends on what happens in the real world. So you can be a history major, in fact, and if you have a career that puts you in the top 25% of earnings for history majors, you'll earn more than the average person with that had a business degree. Are there any certain majors that will lead to graduate school more than others? There are certain majors where you're well advised to go to graduate school in order to make a real middle-class wage, and those include things like uh, education, psychology, even biology. Lots of other majors, engineering, other sciences, business. You can do okay with a bachelor's degree. You don't need to go to graduate school, but sometimes it's advisable because you will make a lot more money. I'm still not sure. What factors should I consider in my decision? In the final analysis, what really matters is what interests you and what your values are. We know from other research that we do that people who don't pursue their interests and values don't do very well in school and don't do very well at work. So that's the first consideration. But at the same time, you have to balance that with some concern about your earnings that you're going to get from a particular field of study, because you're probably going to have to pay back a lot of college debt. The college debt is rising astronomically for college students and that in the end, um, your ability to go and get a BA and which BA field of study you choose will determine whether you get into the middle class or you don't. Thank you very much, Tony. Remember to do your research and pick your major wisely because it directly affects the quality of your life.